So I am going to be covering the cast off 74 U for the third time here on the channel. This is my most covered modern warfare two weapon at this point in time. I've covered the M4 twice. I've also covered the TAC 56 twice. This is the only weapon I've covered three times and for good reason. I truthfully really enjoy this one. And for the longtime fans of the channel, you guys know I am a huge fan of the AK 74 U, not only from Cold War, but obviously also from MW2. So let's get into these attachments. Attachment number one is going to be a stock with the Otrazat stock. It's not going to be anything crazy, but it is going to increase your mobility here, not only with that 2% of the sprint speed, but also an additional 7% here to that ADS movement speed. The next attachment is a rear grip, which is going to target your recoil control, the Demo X2 grip, a 100% necessary attachment at the end of the day, giving you 7% across the board here to gun kick, horizontal, and vertical recoil control. For a magazine, I was using the 45 round mag. At the end of the day, it is a preference. I felt like I was running out of ammo too quickly, so the 45 round mag was like a necessary change for me. But if you guys think you're at more accurate, than I am and you want to go with a 30 feel free to do so for my underbell here I'm going with the x10 phantom 5 hand stop for sprint to fire speed vertical recoil control gun kick control and aim down sight speed a very well-rounded attachment here targeting everything that we need to at the end of the day we got four percent to the gun kick five percent to the vertical recoil control eight percent to the ads speed and then eight percent to the sprint to fire speed and my final attachment on this weapon is going to be the zem compensated flash hider for that muzzle it's going to take care of vertical recoil control horizontal recoil control and more importantly fire aiming stability a lot of the weapons the mw2 ones have a lot of shake on them the cast off 74u is no slouch either has quite a bit of a shake so you need attachments like this one in order to control that but we are getting five percent to the horizontal 15 percent to the vertical recoil control and the much needed fire aiming stability and hold on just a second looking at that damage we got 50 base headshot damage meaning you can get a three shot kill with this thing keep that in mind aim high so with all of these attachments on the screen and the three shot potential in mind now you guys see why I have it built the way I do. It's going to control your recoil really well. You want to be up close and personal, getting aggressive, using it like an SMG. Sure, it's in the AR category, but I promise you, if you run around like it's an SMG, you can take close and medium range fights and you're going to fry on the map. So as always, here's the rest of the loadout on the screen. If you guys also felt the need to pause to copy these ones down, make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button for me. As always, let's jump into a gameplay with the cast off 74U. Hope you guys enjoy. So I can't remember if I've already mentioned this in a video, so I may be repeating myself here. I got a lot of requests. I think there was four people that requested I play underpass when I had asked if there was any maps you guys wanted to see. And I have some unfortunate news. So again, if I'm repeating myself, I'm sorry. They removed. They removed underpass from the 66 hardpoint rotation. I don't know the exact reasoning as to why they did. But the long story short of things is they did. So unfortunately, it's probably not a map you're going to see me covering. Unless I do like a 10v10 or 12v12 video. That's not normally my cup of tea. I love fast paced play, but 10v10 is overwhelming. And I find myself, it's like shipment. I can't ever talk or have a conversation about a topic that I want to talk about. Guy's got a whole riot shield. Yep, yeah, hold. So like for an example, today I'm using the 74U. Homie has a whole riot shield, bro. Don't know what I'm supposed to do about that. And as I stated in my intro, you got to use this thing like it's the AK-74U or an SMG, to be frank with it. If you try to run around with it like a long range assault rifle, you're not going to do very well. Just pretty self-explanatory. It just kind of makes sense. It was the same in MW2 and the same lies here in MW3. If you use it like a long range assault rifle, it's either gonna be way too slow to be effective, or you're just gonna find that it's just not very good. Just one of those two. Get over here, Soul Reaper. Oh, don't you jump shot me. Oh, I'm dead. You're such a weenie butt. I, this is the third time I played this map today, and we got a guy running a riot shield unbelievable i can't wait for black ops 6 to come out and there to be no riot shields yeah you're getting the meat you want to run a riot shield you want to play stupid games you're gonna get stupid prizes and your stupid prize here 
Oh, I guessed wrong. But your stupid prize, sir, was an execution. I don't like to use executions because I find I die a lot when I do them. I'm sorry? Did he stick somebody with that? I think he stuck somebody with that and the guy ran away with me. He got me killed. Oh, tragic, man. Couldn't figure out where he was. Tragic. I'm kind of playing like a bot. I've got the movement cooking, but my, clearly my accuracy isn't doing me justice. What the hell is happening? What the hell is happening? Is he one shot people? Oh, I'm getting torched. All right, it's time. Oh my goodness. Can you make it up? Can you make it up? Why is he throwing the grenade? He doesn't know why he's throwing the grenade. We're going to turn it around. I got good feelings here. I got good feelings here. We're going to turn this game into a W. Maybe not. But I gotta, I gotta get these kills. Riot shield. Unreal. All right. I am concerned. There is two riot shielders. Two! Count it! Two! Need to have my sticky grenades ready. I gotta keep my distance. I cannot get near these freaking clowns. Can't get near them. I'm one kill here from my VTOL. Which will in turn put me one kill away from the advanced UAV. If I lock in the advanced UAV, I'm feeling pretty confident. If I don't lock it in, this game's probably toasted. There's the VTOL. There's the advanced UAV. Not feeling so toasted anymore. We're gonna save, uh... Oh, I gotta go. Nope, nope. I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna hit this right on the hill. Bam. That should save me, save me some. I'm scared he's the riot shielder. That's the problem. If it wasn't for the riot shielder, I wouldn't even be remotely concerned. All right, good job, team. We're gonna regroup. We're gonna hit the middle, saying so that's where they're gonna come from. Yep. Enemy KIA. UAV. Oh. Where did this guy go? Oh, he's going for a little jog. Weenie Butt Jr. with his riot shield on his back. My teammate is upset. I'm going to mute him now, respectfully. I'm only on a 19. I don't think my VTOL really got me any kills. Look at that. Use this as the UAV ping. They're all in middle. And a DNA bomb. Oh boy, did we turn it around. Bunch of rats, riot shields. Hold it for me, brother. God, I'm starting to sound like Sketch. Definitely not one of my more impressive efforts. 
but the effort will suffice. Oh, we're vibing. We're picking up the kill count. We're at 57. Oh, we've had enough, huh? We've had enough. We put all that energy into running riot shields. We get started to get pooped on and we don't like it anymore, huh? Oh, oh yeah. We get pooped on a little bit and we start to not have fun anymore, huh? Grenade, get back. Hard point reload. Drop them. And it's looking like going to be a locked in W. 69 kills right now. Maybe the VTOL picks me up another, but it's not look. Oh, we got it. 70. Jesus Christ. I didn't think they knew I was coming for him. All right. 73 is the final. We definitely turned that one around. Getting nice and aggressive.